Pleasant morning, children. How are you all? I hope you all are doing well. So again, I am here, okay, with the question answers of chapter ten. So today we will discuss the question answers, okay? So our first question is: As you all know that we are doing the chapter ten, that is a poem, and the name of the poem is Winter. Winter in this poem the poet has compared an old man with the winter because old age is the last stage of our life. You know when a child born there is infant after that what happened child age is there then adults and then teenage and adult and all the ages middle age and like that and last age is old age. Okay so winter also see. When is winter here? Winter season is here in October, November, and December. So it means it is the end of the year. Okay, and the age, old age, it it also comes at the end of the last stage. So it means that's why the poet has compared an old man with the winter. Okay, see here, beta. Question is why does the poet address winter as old? Address means means to say. Why he is saying that winter is uh, old? So the poet addresses winter as old because it comes at the end of a year. Because winter comes at the end of a year, and after that again new year comes, and again there is a change in the season because after winter season there is spring season. Okay, so the change is there. So and same old age is the end of uh, life, and after the old age, somebody else takes the place of that person. Okay, means that is the after the end of the life, uh, another person takes place. Uh, means uh, takes the responsibility of all the things. Okay, so same happens. So that's why the poet addresses winter as old because they both come at the end of the year, and old age is also the last stage of life. Now, after doing the answer, you have to draw margin. Also, children, please don't forget to draw margin. Okay. Now, next question is only two questions we will do in this. So, next is, do you think that winter is a troubled spirit? What is a troubled spirit? Ghost. As I told you that when the uh, what happened when the uh, that uh, old man he is watching the children. Okay, they are playing and enjoying and celebrating Christmas and all the things. And what happens? Sometimes the poet is telling the, uh, the sorry, old man is telling them a joke or that uh, tale of a murder or some terrible stories, just like a ghost. So here also same question uh, here. Do you think that winter is a troubled spirit? So how winter is a troubled spirit? Because in winter season also. We don't want to go outside. We stay indoors. Same. So here, the poet imagines the winter as the old man. Okay, because he what he is saying that the winter is just like an old man telling a joke or tale of murder to the children, and therefore a troubled spirit that comes that causes disturbance at night. That causes disturbance at night by causing the moldering fire. Causing the moldering fire is when fire is there in the hearth. So what happened here? Sometimes the fire is just uh, blow. I Means uh, it is just not able to just uh, be, uh, big flames are not there. Okay. So that's why he is saying that uh, that it is just like a winter is just like a troubled spirit who is not allowing the the fire the flames to burn high. Okay, burn high. So this is the these are the two questions actually in this poem there are not too many questions and remember children question answers are for understanding only please try to understand the chapter and you can write question answers in your own words these are we are learning question answers to sharp our memory that's it okay but there should be understanding you have to comprehend each and everything okay and if you have any queries you can ask me. And after writing these two answers in your notebook, you have to make that mark off. That is teacher's signature and parent signature and school C. And I will provide you the 
question answers also that you will copy in your notebook okay so that's all for today thank you children be safe be happy bye bye